All right, guys, welcome back. This is my dissecting cellulitis of the scalp patient. We talked about before that it's in the same family as acne congoloblata. It's in the same family as hydronitis superativa. And he's been okay on and off with antibiotics, but he's kind of flaring pretty bad today. So we were talking about isotretinoin or Accutane as a good option. Um, just to, and they, we use that for hydronitis sometimes. It's it's across the board. So, but today he's flaring a little bit. So we're gonna do an IND of just a couple spots for him, just like we did last time. Gives him a little bit of. Uh, I just need a lemon blade. A little bit of inflammation re resolution here, and we get that out. That should take away the tenderness. Now, we do have right through here and right through there, temporal arteries right in that area. We're above that, um, but we don't go deep on this because it is a sensitive area. We numbed it up. Shouldn't feel anything. Just a little pressure here, okay? Not bad? Uh-uh. Good. There you go. There you go. And there was quite a bit in there. Good, good. You see, we don't see any cyst contents because there's no cyst wall in there, even though it kind of looked like a cyst. It's just inflammatory infiltrate in there. That's good. Get a pressure now he's numb. There we go. Got that fluid out. You see that bump starts to go down. Yeah. That's good. Once we're just kind of getting blood, we got all that what look like pus or purulent discharge, as they say. It's looking good. We're almost flat there. So that'll kind of, with the medication, it's going to dry up the rest. We'll just put a band aid on there. Sometimes we'll get an ingrown hair, which I see just popped out there. Little hair right there. Sometimes that can be what starts it. Came out from the middle. So, sometimes we get our hair trimmed and things and we trim short by the edges and that hair will ingrow and that can cause that little bit of inflammation that just takes off with this condition, unfortunately. But he did great, nice and numb, so he shouldn't have had much pain at all. If you wanna roll a little bit to your right, yeah, I'm gonna get this one here now. This one's already under pressure. I can see, so this one was draining a little. I can see some back here. Little poke, sorry. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Same thing, we kind of get that purulent discharge there. And I'm gonna bring that from over here and over here to the middle. And that goes down pretty quick. You see that one deflated almost right away. So, as we've said before, this isn't something we cure. It's something we control. Put a little pressure one on there for him. Kind of holds that pressure. You can see he's had some other ones here. And it's a chronic thing. They just keep coming up. But hopefully our goal with Accutane is to dry up those sebaceous glands and some of the, some of the uh, areas that feed into this inflammation. And he'll get less inflammation. That's the theory, hopefully. We'll see how he does. All right, thank him again for sharing. Actually, from this first video, I got a lot of great comments of people who have dealt with this or known somebody who has. Very educational, even to listen to the comment section, people talking about what they've tried and uh, what's worked for them. So that's why the whole reason I do the channel. <laughs> so thanks again for sharing, and that's it.